What's the best of the Bucha Bunch? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Kombucha, or fermented fizzy tea, has really grown in popularity over the years due to its supposed cure-all health benefits. Everything from hair loss prevention to weight loss to constipation. Did I say constipation? Yes, I did. did. I am against that. Link is against constipation. I'm anti-constipation. I'm pro-constipation, but I didn't want to say it, but now I feel like I got to say it. (laughs) I hate it, man. The actual health effects are still, you know, being studied, but people seem to think it's uh, really good for your gut. I like to think it is, and if it's good for your gut, that means it must be good for a gut check. Yeah, I was hoping that you would pick up on that gut, brother. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, gut brother. A gut check for one of the top kombucha brands in the world, not to mention the brand that we named the best in our kombucha taste test episode a few years back, GT's. Not a sponsor, but I am ready to taste every flavor that GT's got. It's time for Gut Check, GT's Kombucha Edition. Stevie, help us get ready to get booched. Know how this works? The Mythical Crew has acquired every available flavor of GT's kombucha specifically from their Synergy line of drinks. After you try each flavor, you'll give it a score of 1 to 100 based on your gut reactions. Then you'll taste the top four to determine which kombucha flavor deserves the top title of the most royal Duchess Buchess. Oh, yeah, like a Duchess. Yeah. We're going to be burping. Boy, yeah, we're going to be not constipated, though. Nice. Which, which, you know what? I'm not happy about. Oh, because I'm yeah, full you, of constipation. I gotta. <laughs> you, you I'm, not, I'm not a flop flip flopper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pro constipation. I always will be. I am anti. <laughs> always will be. And Until you have, have a little scoring aid link uh, that you. Yeah, you sure. Look does. at this. Look at that thing. Got a freaking awesome wordplay. <laughs> link kombucha. <laughs> looks like a big <laughs> bottle. I'm <laughs> I'm guessing that this folded up sheet of paper right outside of. My field of vision. Let's see that, right? I wonder what kind of wordplay you got. Oh, mine's oh, a bottle see, too. Look. Um, Reditide. Reditide. There it is. There it is. It's Reditide. Do you understand? Reditide? No, no, no. Is this like a Tide Pods uh, thing? No. Is this like a poison no, we thing? Don't. Reditide. Reditide. <laughs> If your palate's need to refresh at any point, we have some unfermented water ready for you in our sip and slide sippers. Are you ready to begin this probiotic party? Yeah, I'm a fan of the booch. Yeah, yeah, we're both booch boys. Let's start with the citrus category, beginning with blood orange. That first sip of kombucha always gets you. Uh, the citrus really complements the already like acidity thing happening. Not really compliments, but like boosts it a little bit. 61. Uh, I'm just going with a straight 66. Golden pineapple. Golden oh. pineapple. Oh, the, Woo! the sweetness on the back end of a pineapple, but still with the citrus, 71. Uh, 42. Guava goddess. Okay. Is there a little guava bit of, is so specific. There's some armpit in guava. Yeah, yeah, but it's like the good kind of armpit. Why does it's it? It's like pheromones. It's like licking somebody's pheromones right out oh. of there. Yeah. Is it se- it's sexy? Yeah, it's a sexy boost? Stink, make me horny. Okay. Well, I just boosted my number by 10, which brought it to 50. I, call, I quite like guava. Yeah. <laughs> 69. Okay. Island Bliss. Huh. Mm. It has a cleaner taste. Yep, it's horrible. Whoa, seven. You <laughs> know what? I'll see your seven, I'll lower it to a six. Vote me off that island. That was bad. Mystic Mango. Okay, now. That's pretty sweet. That's nice. That's, That's nice. 82. Uh, Favorite 70. Yet. Peach Paradise. They're all like sipping vacation. Peach is a tough flavor to nail. 50. And that's as low as you went for it? It's just like 40. I, w- I wanted to like it. Big 4 out. But I'm just me. I'm completely d- deadpan about it. Yeah, you were. Pure love. Pure love. These, okay. This is a conceptual this is getting flavor. Stupid. This is stupid. Mm, it's rose. rose. 
I like rose flavored things. It's polarizing, 68. 10. I'm on the other side of that polar ice cap. This might be a good time to remind everyone watching that we will uh, also reveal both Rhett and Link's flavor flavorites. Flavorites. There you go. At the end, so sublime lime. Mm -hmm. Never had it. That's weird. There's something else besides lime in there, like a tangy. I kind of don't like it. Forty-eight. I don't like it either. Thirty-two. Tangerine dream. Okay, back in the citrus. Something's wrong with that one. Do we need to cleanse or something? Might be time for a cleanse because I'm going to give that a 41. Oh, yeah. 35. And that concludes the citrus category. Next up is the berry category, beginning with cosmic cranberry. All right. UTI, say goodbye. <laughs> Woo! That, work, yeah. that really works That's together. That's nice. I might, I might give that one a 78. Okay. Lemon berry. This might go too far. A le what's a lemon berry? <laughs> um, that tastes like a fake berry, like a berry that doesn't exist. Well, it tastes like a sweet tart. But it tastes a little too like energy drink. Yeah. Not kombucha. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? 38. It's very Red Bull. If you like the Red Bull. Yeah. That's not what I'm after. You, with but you don't like constipation? Uh, uh, I'm going to give it. But I do. 28. <laughs> let, the, let the record show that I do. <laughs> yeah, you got to. <laughs> Passionberry Bliss. Passionberry. The is sweet it, helps. Is there armpit? I think this is the back of the knee. I think this is pretty good. 72. 48. Pomegranate Power. Oh, sexy. I like pomegranates. Hold on, that's a good kombucha flavor. 80. I think this one has brought me back to, oh yeah, we're drinking kombucha here. Oh, oh! You lost it for lost the plot I lost for a while. It what did you it, think we were drinking? It, they weren't as fizzy as they needed to be. This one's strong in the fizz department. Seventy three. Hmm. Strawberry serenity. Hmm. It's like taking a nap in a in a field of strawberries. It's almost just too fruit, but it's still a pleasant thing. Fifty nine. Fifty two. Strawberry lemonade. It is what it says it is. I think it's true to the flavor. I just don't like it. Straight 41. Straight 50 on that one. Trilogy. Oh, I get this one at the grocery store. This one's all over the place, yeah. It's so like, this is kombucha. Yes, you yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's like, this is the real it's deal. It's kombucha without trying anything else and makes me happy. Tastes a little vinegary. But it's not like, the flavor uh, doesn't make you like too happy. Like, it makes me 74 happy. It makes me a, it makes me a 68 happy. Watermelon Wonder. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one's usually uh, next to Trilogy. The 15 store. is my prediction. <laughs> it tastes like watermelon juice. I don't like it. Hmm, what should I give this? 15. Uh, I, I, I think it's a little bit better than, than bad, 51. That concludes the berry category. Better than bad. The next category is herbal and floral, beginning with bloom. Oh, I, I like This is gonna be tough. I me. like floral things. That's better than the rose one. What? Oh! What flower? It still tastes. It's multiple flowers. Like a flower. It's like eating a funeral. No, but it's really well balanced. That's a 77 for me. It, it's almost honeysuckle. Yes! Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what it is. Yes, yeah. you're right. That moves it up. 61. 61. Carrot turmeric. This is healthy. <laughs> it sounds healthy. That tastes like a uh, energy shot, a health shot. Yeah, which that's kind of what you want to feel that way with a kombucha. It's not bad. Uh, I like that. Seventy six. Wow, the carrot is really coming strong. I'm really going to give it a sixty four. Oh, really? Elderberry juniper. Oh. Mm. Oh. Good gosh, that's bad. You got to be an, you got to be an elder to like that. Oh. Your taste buds have to be dead. Oh. Your, your tongue's barely hanging on. It's not the worst Just one. Put something in there. It's a 20. Oh. 
Just hang on by a thread. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. The tongue loosens. Excuse uh, me. Here comes the bird. Still waiting on your score, Rhett. Twelve. Oh. Getting some bloatage. Ginger aid. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. That's something they give you after the spa. This is to help with um, nausea. Yeah, right before you get on a boat. It's a little too medicinal for me. This is I'm a gonna boat give it drink. A 39, because I'm not on the boat. Uh, I'm picturing myself on a boat. 61. Gingerberry. Mm -hmm. Ginger goes good with a good boot job. Whew. When you have, ooh. I feel like that got better. I the, I like the ginger. I think the ginger is a is in the family in, uh, for kombucha. It's a sixty eight. It's like a double punch, like a double shot. Yeah, this is a double boat. I, I'll stay. This is at, like a flotilla. Uh, Fifty. This is a two boats tied together. Maybe a catamaran. Hibiscus ginger. I was not on that catamaran that evening. <laughs> This, but, is, this is better for me. Um, I hate constipation. I love constipation. 53, right. I'm against constipation. Uh, something went wrong on this one. 47. Huh. Lavender love. Oh, I'm hopeful. Ooh, okay. Soothing. I like a lavender latte. I, boy, I'll fall I mean, for that every time. You know time. what? I've gotten every into time. those. If, there's, if it's on the menu, especially if they do it in purple chalk. Oh. And a lot of people don't, still don't do it. I go for it every damn time. They don't have that lavender. Oh, they did it in purple chalk. Rhett's gotta get it. This is a good one. Give him a big one. Uh, I'm gonna give you a big 72 on it. Uh, <laughs> 79. I like that lavender. Multigreen. Okay, okay. Okay, healthy time. Ah! Things like... It tastes like a, an aquarium somebody what? forgot to clean. That's like you got your cousin to watch the fish. And then they turned. You know, they, and you came back. They fermented. Yeah, and it's just like, ah, I think they're in there somewhere. You're going to have to get the net, though. Oh, God. <laughs> three. <laughs> I'll see your three and make it a two. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that they also be good didn't for you. try and cover it up with the name. That concludes the herbal and floral category. On to the final category miscellaneous, beginning with grape chia. Oh, we like grape around here. Oh, and look, it's full of the chia seeds. We were on this kick for a while. Mm. The chia, oh. <laughs> um, it takes away some of the bite and replaces it with this gelatinous goo. You get a lot of fiber. Hey, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt your constipation cause. Yeah, but yeah, I'm of, I'm of two minds here. I like slimy chia. Um, and grape is good. I'm gonna give it an 80. Is that, that's the Whoa. highest, no, I can't. It's not the best one I've had. 75 for me. 77. Raspberry chia. Oh, I do like a good. I like the way I feel a little bowel seed, movement. The seeds going over my lip when I suck on it. You know, drinking is like the, it's like the, it's like the bookends. You drink the chia seeds and then you poop them out. It's like the bookends of the, the bowel experience. Yeah, really, you're just talking about the digestive system here, not really chia. I'm gonna give that one a 77 too. It's also good. 74, not quite as good as grape. Pink Lady Apple. Pink Lady Apple? Is it a Pink Lady Apple or a Pink Lady Apple? I think it's a Pink Lady Apple. It's a Pink Lady Apple. I, you really don't have to say pink because you know all Lady Apples are pink. Yeah, right. Yeah. I kinda 60. liked it. Boy, it's sour but sweet and apple -y. Why is my head hurting? 72. I think I just need to relax my, my head a little bit. Yeah, you think, you think, you're thinking too hard, I can tell. Pure. What okay. is pure? Just kombucha? Yeah, it just tastes like vinegar. We made some kombucha in my house for a while and you know, from mother to mother, you keep the mother, it was like this. Where'd you keep the mother? Under the sink, I think. Oh, she didn't like that. Uh, that's that's tough. You might as well just drink vinegar. I'm gonna give it a. I kind of liked it. Sixty-six. One. Twenty-one. <laughs> a what? A one? Twenty-one. Twenty-one, 21 and, and a sixty-six. 66. Oh. Sacred life. Okay. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you gonna overpromise and underdeliver on this one? It's the color. Oh, it's glow. blue. It's horrible. <laughs> what does it taste like? Oh my! What is that? It's raw coconut water, blue 
spirulina and ginger. I was about to say, there's definitely ginger, ginger in there. 19. Uh, That's a mushroom. I think it's an algae. I, I think it's an undiscovered people group. I don't know. 37. Concludes the final miscellaneous category. You've now tasted all of the available GT kombucha flavors. Your scores will now be tabulated so you may more closely judge the top four flavors. And I will be burping. Hey, you want to get our new record? It's a vinyl and it's the Woo. song that you've been wanting. The My Hair song, written many, many years ago when our hair went in opposite directions, has been updated completely. A new production where I'm singing the part that should be mine now. Hair goes up. Yeah, and you're singing the part that should be yours now. Hair goes down. It's kind of like um, the new song we're working on, which is constipation and anti-constipation. Well, it's prostipation and constipation. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the name of the song. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, if you want to get this record, it's also got a previously unreleased original from us called Relevant on side B. You can get that by joining Third Degree Monthly of the Mythical Society by this Sunday. April 30th, all right? You gotta join by then. Plus, Come on, y'all. That's, Do it. that's this Sunday. We'll give you 15% off a third degree monthly membership um, only if you purchase it this Sunday, one day only. Mythicalsociety.com, get that discount and get this record. Whee. Do it. Okay, y'all. It turns out that your individual top choices are also in your collective top four. Isn't that convenient? That is wonderful. See? Well, so, you know what? It's good to know that. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. So. Rhett, your favorite was Mystic Mango. And okay. Link, yours was Cosmic Cranberry. Wow, that UTI really got you. Um, and then the yeah, other yeah. ones in your lineup are Grape Chia and Pomegranate Power. And, of course, the one that you hated the most was Multigreen. Let's move these into the middle. Aquarium water. Wow, that was crazy bad. All right, so we each have our things here. Only one of the chia made it into the, let's wait to retaste the chia. Maybe let's start here. Okay, which is pomegranate power. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's good. It's, it's, very, got, it's very kombucha, but with a taste, a hint of sweet. Yeah, because it's got that sweetness of um, the erotic fruit of a pomegranate. A pomegranate. 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 I like the orangeness of this mango. Boy, I still really like. Was that my favorite? Yeah. Because it's still it's still better than the first one in my mind. I, I just I really like the sweetness. It, the mango works so well with it because mango is mild and you still have the bite of a kombucha, but it gives it more of a juice experience. Mango has like a rounded flavor, like just like yeah. a mango. It's it's slimy and silky when you eat it. That's what comes across. It just slide down your gullet. Cranberry comes strong. This is still good. This is still good. Yeah, top four, baby. But I kind of think that there's something about cranberry that almost competes with it. Like they're both in the same lane. Yep, yep, yep. It double, just double down. Yeah. Chia. Great. Where the fizziness is gone. I think it's just been out for a while. I will say that now that I'm tasting it in this lineup of our four favorites, too mild. Is that what you're gonna say? I was gonna say that the grape flavor tastes a little bit like kids flavor grape. This is good for kids. You know what I'm saying? If you want to introduce kids in the world of the kombucha. I'm, I'm, I hate to say this, but I'm ready to kick the chia grape to the side. I wanted to put it in third, but I'm not gonna argue. I, Cause I was gonna say that we should, we should do it third and do this fourth. Well, I don't feel that strong. You really liked the cranberry the first time it came around. I'm liking it not very much. I'm to me it comes down to these. Yeah, two. let's put this at third. Let's let's get rid of the chia, even though I'm still a, and I'm I'm prostipation. No, you are. I'm constipation. Oh, I'm prostipation. I'm pro chia. That's my whole platform. All right, I I, I know where you're going with this. That's what I confirm. Um, I think this juice varietal is not mainline kombucha. And I think this one is the classic, which I'm. Listen, I'm leaning towards it being number one. I'm willing to. I, I yeah, I completely agree that this is not. I think this is a better tasting drink when you're just measuring drinks out there. But when you're in kombucha land, I feel like you might need to do something that is a little bit closer to what kombucha is, so that when we're sending people out there to the grocery stores to make this thing sell out. Yeah, we got it. I just burp. But I'm still prostipation. 
<laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm still pro station. You're not anti burp. <laughs> I think we got to put pomegranate pear power number one, man. There you have it, guys. We're in agreement, giving a strong rep for the Mystic Mango, but the most royal duchessness. Duchess. 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 Of Duchess. Duchess. Look at that sad. Pomegranate is. power! Look at that! Pomegranate power! It tastes like regular old kombucha with something sweet on the side. GT, we're an internet duo. Can we hang out at your house that, so we can look at your fridge that has nothing but this in it? Yeah. Come on. Thanks for subscribing <laughs> and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Sarah from Delaware, and this is the 225th puzzle I've completed since March of 2020, and now, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. What kind of magic <laughs> does this woman yield? <laughs> I prefer that the magic's in the thing that we saw. Okay, now, we, we, no promises. We don't do that on every puzzle. <laughs> Click the top link to see if we can guess what's in mystery cans and get mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Only got a few days to get our My Hair Goes remake on vinyl, plus 15% off third degree monthly this Sunday only. MythicalSociety.com.